Hey, you guys. Yeah, I look red as hell. What is Tia Tamara? Tia Tamara. Yeah, hold on. Let me get it together, girl. Just got out of the dentist appointment. I'm gonna keep it red, girl. I can I can make me look a little bit uh, lighter later on. Got out of the dentist appointment, and she's like, everything looks good, but she thinks that I need to have that feeling that's there reset, or basically, um, the feeling is old. Uh, she said feelings don't last forever. I'm like, why not, girl? So that feeling is old. That feeling is like, good lord. That feeling's like 12, 13 years old. And so she said that, you know, we'll just have it, you know, refix or redone or whatever. I love this dentist, y'all. I, you know, I'm a talker. You know, one-on-one, -on -one, I'll talk to you. And so they've been, her dental assistant has been here the entire time. My husband goes here. I'm so petty, y'all. I'll say, bring up my husband's record so I can see how many, how many cavities he has. Girl, she brought it up. I'm like, HIPAA violation. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's like, you got more cavities than him. I said, you you know what <laughs> anyway I'm okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go to Ross and um what time is it 11 30 I'm gonna go to Ross and see if I can find a cute little dress for JB's graduation tomorrow and just something I can also do for our trip to Texas I don't need to buy any new clothes for our trip to Texas I don't yeah I'm not like that especially you know we're there for a reason actually I am like that well, Vivian don't lie don't lie Vivian because I did buy a dress for the um, graduation I'll show y'all what that looked like it's really cute girl real s southern sexy is what we gonna call that dress um but I'm gonna see if I can just find a little summer dress here at Ross. Um, something that I could probably, you know, put a little jean jacket over. Maybe not girl, it's hot. Girl, I'm back home. So let me show y'all what I bought. That Ross was giving me anxiety. Hold on, y'all. Mm, the bedroom smells good. I wonder if my husband used his shower today. He put all his stuff up in here, child. Lord. I know I'm jealous. Let me show y'all what I bought. Because there were no dresses. I wanted to get, hold on. I wanted to get a cute, cute, cute um dress. Everything that they had at this particular Ross made, I mean, either I was gonna go for a uh unflattering potato or a um a gay flamingo dancer. I'm not, I'm not, no. So yeah, I know I'm a mess. Let me show y'all. So I bought this. It's probably a little too big, but it's okay. This cute, isn't it still springy in summer? This cute floral top and a pair of uh, white jeans. Now I need to try these on. White jeans. I need to speak English. I need to try these on. I have three pairs of white. I guess you could say bottoms there. One of them is basically capris, but two pair of white pants. And because I've lost weight, the size 14, it's weird. Like I'm in between sizes. I'm not a 12, but I'm not a 14. So 14 is a, is a little too big in the waist, but it hits, it fits my thighs and hips. But I'm going to take this with me because I have my clothes down here folded up for Texas. I think that this shirt would go cute. See this coral? These are um, jeggings, capri jeggings from Walmart. So yeah, that's what I'm going to wear and I will probably wear, I was looking at these, uh, no, I'm going to do these. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wear these. Really cute. I went and purchased, I went and purchased me some nachos, so I shouldn't be eating it, but I wanted some nachos. I'm going to sit down and eat that and watch my mascara. The 100 is back. They are already getting on my nerves. Like I told you, I think they all should have died. I, I need a whole new cast. They all get on my nerves. All these kids get on my nerves, but I'm still watching it. Um, Good Girls, I'm watching. I kind of got lost in Killing Eve, so I need to rewatch it. Good Girls is, is, is up there. That actor is fine as hell. Manny? His wife is black too, y'all. He is fine. I think he's from Cali, California. He's Latino. He is fine. And they got me thinking, I, I need to do a chit chat, y'all. I think I'm gonna do a chit chat video because I want to talk about some stuff. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. Probably next week because I won't have time now. Girl, I still got on my head wrap, you guys. It is Friday. It's Friday. And I'm ready to swing. Oh, that's a chopped up, screwed up version. The reason why I am in a low level energy, this child got up at three o'clock in the morning, screaming and running. He probably had a nightmare. So when I wake up that close to my wake up time, I, I can't go back to sleep. What's the point? 
So I laid in bed with him and he fell back to sleep and he's still asleep. It's like around 5.30 or so. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so y'all today I'm recording a hair video. Um, let me back up the camera. My skin is kind of clearing up y'all. I still have these dark marks here. I need to clear that up with tea tree oil. And you know what that's from? Because I'm not wearing my head scarf at night as much. And when I'm laying on my side and my hair. So yeah, that's from the oils and products on my hair affecting my sides of my, my face. That's exactly what it's from. Anyway, girl, it's Friday. I have a lot to do today. Not necessarily a lot. I have a lot of phone calls to make. You know, let me tell you something. I, I know I'm all over the place. Direct TV is one of the most horrible companies to work for not to work for to work with i had direct tv when i was living in our apartment and they were okay so then when i moved back here a couple of years ago i just transferred it so long story short we got rid of it a couple of months ago because we got a smart TV. So I'm like, there's no sense in me paying $80 a month when I can get Sling TV and Netflix for half of that cost, right? Well, DirecTV was like, you know, since you signed the contract, you got to pay this bill. I'm like, cool, you got to pay out. First of all, the first person I called told me, oh, no, you don't have to pay anything. Then the second person said, oh, no, you do have to pay something, right? So they told me, I don't even remember what the cost was, right? I honestly don't remember. So I told them at the time, send me a bill, an itemized bill. Send me an itemized bill so I can look at I don't give people no money until I can look at what I'm pay, paying for it, okay? Waiting, waiting, waiting on the bill. Mind you, this has been about four or five months longer than that. This has been about five months, right? Almost half a year. I call them. I'm like, I'm not getting anything. Um, is this your address? Verify the address. It's the address of the apartment. I'm like, look, this is my third time that I have asked you guys to update my address. This is my address. Even when they sent me boxes to return the equipment, the cable boxes, they kept sending the boxes to the apartment. I, I, whoever's living there is probably hit, pissed as hell, right? Or excuse me, upset because they're getting off. They're probably were getting my bills too. You know, paper bills, excuse me, paper bills at least. Long story short, the, uh, I always say that and I don't get to the point. The bill has gone to collections because they never sent me an itemized bill. I am, I am done. I'm going to give DirecTV a call here this morning after I drop off my baby and be like, no, you need to send me an itemized bill. I know at this point it's in collections. I'm not saying I'm not going to pay it. I need to know what I'm paying for because I need to look at absolutely ridiculous so i don't like that because now that's gonna be on my credit i don't like that at all and i looked at the bill 164 dollars what the hell am i paying 164 dollars for that doesn't even sound right so yeah i got to call them um honestly that's about it i gotta call my mama yeah my mama my mother called herself inviting herself on our vacation trip and spending the night. She didn't even ask. She just said, that's what, oh, I can come down there, drive up there to the hotel and stay with you guys. I'll sleep on the couch. Y'all, this trip, <laughs> I love my mother, I do. I'm gonna have to call her and let her know. Um, because this trip is specifically to go to Fort Worth. We're not even going to Dallas, you know, Fort Worth, DFW, to uh, spend time with my husband, so with our, my step, my stepson, right? This is what is all surrounded about this. This is why we're going there, to uh, go there for the graduation, and to spend time with, with him. And she, she just decided to invite herself. I'm not saying I don't want to see my mother. Absolutely, I want to see her. But I, if you're going to come down, I need for you to get your own separate room, because I don't need you uh, squishing JB on the couch. <laughs> so, um, but they are like that. My mom's side of the family, they are like that. Cause I didn't even realize y'all look at, so, I don't know why she does this. She just invites herself anywhere, right? Very passive aggressive too in that Southern way. So, uh, 
a couple of years ago, we would go to Vegas, right? And so my mom would be like, yeah, we're gonna go to Vegas and your dad's having the union meeting there. And so um, if you want to, you guys can drive up. Why, when we get up there, everybody's up there. So she, she invites everybody so that she's not up there with my daddy by herself. I guess he'd be getting on her nerves, girl, I don't know. She invites everybody. So the last time we went, JB was like, JB was like three, three years old, right? She invited all her sisters, not all of them, she invited like four sisters, cousins. I'm like, you can <laughs> I'm like, Lord have mercy. Today I'm gonna try and do my two strand bantu knots, y'all. I look, this is the worst hairstyle. I tried it on this one, that looks good, huh? Let's untwist it. And I gotta wake up JB here in the morning, in a minute. Let's see what it looks like. This is my least favorite style. I always come out looking like some different. See, see, I don't know y'all. I'm, I'm gonna try it anyway, because you know, it's something new. I'm, I'm sick of doing twist outs and I know y'all tired of seeing them. Hey you guys, it is um the Monday before my schedule PTO. Girl, I'm ready to be off, you heard me? I'm ready, I got up early this morning. Um, first of all, I, yesterday was a good day for us. We, well, I really organized, uh, some areas like I told you I would do. Um, but I followed through with Google Figure. I was able to, uh, organize kitchen cabinets and our, uh, two of our linen closets to, you know, declutter and get rid of some stuff, right? Mmm, that looks good. Someone made a plant-based meatless deep dish pizza, y'all. <clears throat> looking at youtube stuff i am so hungry yeah i have no idea i am very hungry um i'm really trying to watch what i eat because i don't want to be bloated because i'm wearing this this uh body conscious no i don't even want to say body conscious i'm wearing a dress for the graduation that hugs all the right and wrong places <laughs> um i'm at front and jay school by the way it's crazy it's gonna be a crazy week you already know it's gonna be a busy week he's graduating from kindergarten officially this week um I want to make sure I watch what I say because I'm going to be doing a chit chat video today so I don't want to be redundant but I do want to say congratulations to any of you who have children who are graduating from school uh high school college girl I from what I understand that's even like an eighth grade what is that eighth grade sixth grade graduation for what I get kindergarten and of course high school but they have these mid I don't know, like what is it sixth grade and eighth grade graduation girl we never had that growing up I guess it's I guess research shows that it there's a positive to um, congratulating kids midway. I didn't get no congratulations and I still graduated. <laughs> Y'all know I'm crazy. Weather has changed yet again. In the US we've had a crazy, crazy weather. You girl sign of the end times, but just seriously crazy weather. It is back to cooler weather here in Phoenix. Um, right now, I think it's like 65, 68. It's only going to be a high of 70s, and then it's going to go up to the 80s later on. I'm also checking the weather in Dallas, and it seems like it's going to be high 80s. Um, of course, it's going to be humid. I'm, I'm watching it because I want to make sure how I, you know, how I wear my hair is compatible, girl. Um, right now, my hair is in this old, oh, I know you really can't see me. Let me see if I can let down a window or something, because it's dark inside this car. Better. It's not better, but we'll work with it. Um, so... What's the point? I need to start, I really do think that I need to start washing my hair more often. I used to be the type of where I would go eight or nine days. I need to start washing my hair every six to seven days to, just to ensure that my scalp is cleansed. So I'm gonna be washing my hair tomorrow and then washing it again either early Monday or next Tuesday. But I, these babies better not come up. They have this gate open because they're doing um, landscaping but they better not come out this, this gate. I'm going to be washing my hair sooner, I guess. Um, and I'm going to be blowing out my hair next week. But using the tension method, I'm not going to use the comb because I just want to minimize any breakage or whatever. And I really don't need my hair stretched stretched out, but stretched out a little bit. Because look at it now, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, this week is going to be crazy. Yeah, this school, this school is interesting. I get that the teachers are busy. And especially with, we're in a special situation with JB's particular class. Because his teacher, I didn't even give y'all all the tea. 
child his teacher decided that she did not like phoenix this, this is the tea that i heard and within the school with the other other parents his teacher decided in december that she was not a fit for this school and she was homesick so she decided to ask her husband to transfer. first of all they transferred here from i don't know some pitiful midwestern city <laughs> i shouldn't say that so she was homesick and missing home Mind you, this lady took a week-long vacation twice between August and September. She took a week-long vacation twice in the midst of all these, you know, they have a fall break, winter break, whatever. So she decided after the winter break that this wasn't a good fit for her and she was going to go back home. Just crazy. And this is her first year teaching at this school and she only been a teacher for three years, right? So with that being said, we've had three teachers for JB's first year of school. It has been eventful and I I haven't really enjoyed it. Um, why is JB on the ground? What the hell? Why is my child? No, he, he got up. He rolling around in the grass, y'all. The only reason why I'm concerned is because JB, JB has allergies. He, he don't need to be in the grass. So. Alright you guys, this is what I'm wearing. Now these are ankle um, pants is why it comes up so high. I got this entire outfit from Ross. I got this. I need to cut these off. This is so annoying to me. They really are. I know it helps to... to maybe I should tuck it up and underneath my bra. Will that help, girl? Uh, I got this necklace from... Charming Charlie's, it was buy one, get one free. Isn't this cute? Very spring. The split of the actual, um, of the shirt itself. So yeah, very, very cute. I like the look. I may take this outfit with me to Texas. Isn't this pretty? Um, this is basically, I did a comparison video of the Lottie Body foaming mousses, and this is what it looks like. Very healthy. Now I have some residue that I think it was from the um, deep conditioner I used, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Very, very pretty. All right, you guys, the next time I will just have a little bit of footage of JB's graduation. And, you know, I think I'm going to wrap it up here because it's just a bunch of foolery, <laughs> as always. So thank y'all so much for watching. Um, and the next vlogs hopefully will be of the Texas trip. Oh, they have on cats. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's really good here. Mm, that's Joseph and Gray. <clears throat> In front of the girl with the pink dress on. Congratulations to Miss Moody.